Question number seven, Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Primary Industries and asks, uh, what government support is available for farmers and growers along most of the east coast of the South Island since a medium-scale adverse event was declared on the 12th of February 2015? Honourable Nathan Guy. Mr Speaker, the government has made an extra $200,000 available to localised rural support trusts who provide advice, coordination and provide emotional support. Rural assistance payments are also available from work and income and assistance from inland revenue will give greater flexibility to affected farmers and growers around their tax obligations. Mr Speaker, history shows that farmers and growers aren't interested in a handout. They want to know that the government acknowledges that many of them are experiencing tough times right now, and I know that they have the resilience to get through this. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Jackie Dean. To the Minister, what recent developments occurring from the drought conditions has he been advised of? Honourable Nathan Guy. Mr Speaker, just because we announced a medium-scale adverse event, it doesn't mean that the drought conditions are over for farmers or growers. Yesterday, irrigation from the Opua Dam stopped. The Opua supports three important areas, and they are social, environmental and economic. It supports the Timaru water supply, which, as I understand, will still be maintained. Fish and game have also been rescuing fish from drying rivers and releasing them into the Opihi River, which is fed by this storage scheme. And of course, the Opua also underpins hundreds of jobs and the South Canterbury economy. This just highlights, Mr Speaker, how much worse it could have been if we don't have decent water storage projects built in this country. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jackie Dean. Thank you. We can farmers and growers in affected areas continue to receive up-to-date information and support? Honourable Nathan Guy. Mr Speaker, organisations such as Rural Woman, Beef and Lamb, Dairy New Zealand and Rural Support Trusts are holding various events over the coming weeks where farmers and growers can meet and exchange support and advice. Federated farmers are also operating their feed line and, of course, the banks have made support packages available for farmers. Of course, farmers and growers can reach out and call the 0800 number for Rural Support Trust. Supplementary question, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Why won't the Minister provide the support that farmers and growers have been asking for in report after report, and that is more resource for a better bioprotection system? <laughs> Honourable Nathan Guy. Well, we are, Mr Speaker. Oh. We are, and industry knows that. Industry were very worried at the last election that the Labor Party could have been sitting on this side of the House on the Treasury benches because they knew that they didn't. You didn't support irrigation. You didn't support order, biological... Order, order, order. You cannot bring me into this uh, answer. Question number eight, Denise Roach. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.